Good afternoon. Well, we finished off the last episode this morning, uh, just uh, near Boat Harbour, west of Albany. Uh, we just passed through Albany, grabbed some lunch, filled up the fuel, and now we're heading to another Boat Harbour. I've been there before, it's a pretty nice camp tour. I'll go for a swim, hopefully, if the sun comes out and chill out. See how we go. No plans, just winging it. Enjoying the time on the road. Second boat harbour in two days. It's definitely a bit softer than the last one. Highly recommend letting your tyres out when you get to the uh, main campground. Some rev head. What's going on? It's okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I've gone down to 16. He's probably gone down to 40. Just gone a little further down this track to try and find a camp spot. Get a load of this. Another magic South Coast beach. So we just had a little bit of excitement. We pulled up at the Boat Harbour campground and it was pretty busy. Uh, the biggest spot that would fit both of us was pretty close to another couple and a caravan. So took a little side track to the west, east, east, east of Boat Harbour. I let my tyres down to 12 on the beach which is pretty normal for WA beaches uh, but then this track uh, was a bit harder and real off camber. Some nice washouts. Yeah. Good angles. Pretty exciting. Good angles. Not good angles for 12 psi. So I said to Paul do you reckon I'll be all right with tyres this soft and he's like yeah I didn't film any of it. Um, hit this pretty off camber section and then I could hear the tyre, I could hear the rubber. My wheel alignment went right out and after another 100 metres or so I was like no nah, I'm just going to put some air in and my front driver's tyre was completely flat. It just rolled off the rim but the fruits. Nice open campground, no one else around. Beach is just over the hill. Alright, we're going to get set up. Tonight 
Uh, we're just going to cook up a real basic pesto pasta and we're going to load it full of veggies so that we've got heaps of leftovers for tomorrow on the road. We're thinking about heading straight to Esperance from tomorrow so that'll be a big day of driving if so. Uh, and just having some leftovers that can be thrown in the travel buddy makes a big difference. Um, so what we're going to put in, it's got some mushies, red onion, capsicum, pine nuts, broccoli, uh, some bacon, chicken, and then our pasta and pesto sauce. Uh, so should only take 10-15 minutes to, uh, to prepare, uh, but should be primo. First thing we want to do is just get that water boiling for the pasta. So just chop that veg up nice and fine so that it cooks very quick. Just going to start off by browning off the pine nuts and then add in the uh, onion and bacon before tossing the veggies through. Strain and set aside the pasta once it's done. Now once that bacon's starting to brown and the onions are softening, add your veggies. And then once all those veggies have softened off, uh, we're going to add in our chicken. This is uh, plant-based chicken because we like it and it lasts longer in the fridge so it's pretty handy camping but obviously if you're using chicken meat you want to brown it off first. And then finally add your pesto sauce. Mix that all through and then bon appetit. Well, we are back on the road this morning. Just taking this track out of Boat Harbour. The Boat Harbour east of Albany. So we decided that we're gonna put in a slightly bigger day of driving today. And we're going to head for Fanny Cove, just west of Esperance, so about four hours from here. Uh, and then tomorrow, stop in at Esperance, top up fuel, water, and then start heading towards Israelite Bay, being what we really came to do. We have pulled up for the day, just shy of Fanny Cove. Uh, just in the track down to Fanny Cove, there's another little campground, Caggy Beach, I think it's called. Uh, another parks paid campground, first come, first serve. And uh, yeah, right next to a uh, nice little beach, nice and sheltered from the wind. So, deep in a minute. Yeah, not too much wind here. 
which is always a nice change. But, uh, we've got this big site here. It is two sites. It's kind of hedging our bets that no one else pulls up. That should be good. Then tomorrow, head to Esperance. Get some supplies and then hit the tracks east. Was it? Not. Pleasant? Warm? <laughs> He's just saying that. That's not. up camp from Kagi Beach uh, and are setting off towards Esperance this morning. It's only about 45 minutes to Esperance. Campground itself, really nice. Just a little bit more populated than what we generally like. So you could easily park up there for, I don't know, a few days plus. Uh, looks like some pretty nice snorkeling out off the reef there. Um, but it's overcast and it's windy and the water's cold and I'm a little bitch so I didn't go for a swim yesterday. Tomorrow is looking like it's going to be sunny and not much wind which is pretty exciting uh, so I think tomorrow will be a good beach day wherever we end up. Uh, once we get to the other side of Esperance, we're going to go and climb Frenchman's Peak and I'm not really sure where we'll end up tonight. Maybe Dunn's Rocks, maybe Membernup Beach. Um, it's planned by it. Still got two weeks until we need to be home. So the world is our oyster. Second time back here at Frenchman's Peak and it's not blowing its tits off so we can actually go do it. Frenchman's Peak done. Now time for a dip and a bit of lunch. Lucky Bay. 
Paul's already got his kit off. Yo. some lunch out of the way. Now we're gonna head for Member Nut Beach. This will do nicely. Blue water one side. Nice little bit of fresh water this side. Good morning from Member Nut Beach. It's taken almost one week on the road, but we finally got a day where it looks like it's gonna be mostly sunny. So we're gonna stay put for the day. Today we're gonna to set up the awning and then just enjoy the sun, surf, have a kayak out, kick the footy, play some grip ball, drink some beers, Woo. day drinking gonna be good. Finally some sunshine. Definitely not hiding in the car for a little bit. It's been a cracker of a day. It's been like at least 15 knots winds off sh onshore all day. Drank a lot of beers. And just 
the wind's just getting a little bit too much. So it's pissed. She's had too many drinks. Beep. Now she's hiding in the car. What are you doing, you pest? <laughs> hey. Guess your horn works. Sounds weird. Yeah. Working. Why is it working? Because you use it too much. <laughs> Look, come and enjoy this beautiful windy day. <laughs> Well, that is a very relaxing day and a half at Membernut Beach wrapped up. Yesterday was a beautiful day, nice and sunny. A little bit windy, but you gotta expect it out on the south coast. Uh, today we're heading off to Israelite Bay, and that's where we're gonna spend the night. Which way are we gonna go? We're going on the chicken way. Are we? Well, you said you're gonna go the road there. Mm, I just don't really wanna take that rocky track on the eastern side of this beach again. Chicken road. <laughs> Last time, Paul almost rolled on it. No. Paul almost rolled on it. And then he was a shit spotter and I ended up diffed out on a rock and we were stuck for an hour and a half, packing in rocks and max tracks and shit under my wheels to get out. So not super keen on that again. All right. We are going to hit the road. Next stop, Israelite Bay. Uh, we decided to go a different route to the standard old down Fisheries Road and then continue straight. So we've done that. For when you get to the end of Fisheries, we've gone down towards Cape Barron and we're checking through Cape Barron at the moment uh, on Kima. We're going to jump on the Telegraph track and then we're going to fly up to the coast and then make our way up the coast and hopefully we get to Israel Bay or if we find a nice spot before then we'll fly over and set up camp wherever. There. So as standard, WA Parks and Wildlife, they love closing tracks, so we have to turn around, backtrack our way back to Fisheries Road and then head on in that way. So the track looks like it's closed due to dieback, so don't want that spread. So hopefully that's where it is and then we're just shut it so keep people out because some people ruin it for other people not sure but nah, that's wrong backtrack and head across
we have just pulled up at Israelite Bay, uh, just at the jetty camp that's on Wiki Camps. And I think that's where we'll probably leave this episode. Tomorrow we'll head off east on the track towards the Air Bird Observatory, which is probably still four or five hundred k's away. So the adventure will start in earnest tomorrow. Yep, the whole reason for the trip is what we're starting as of tomorrow. So all the other, other bits have just been a bonus. Absolutely. All right, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Uh, we've also put the uh, Patreon uh, and merch shop links uh, in the description for this video. So if you're interested, check them out, uh, particularly for if you want our HEMA tracks for uh, some of the places that we've been uh, on this trip and previous trips. All right, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. On next week's episode, we continue in Israelite Bay, seeing some of the sights set off on the old telegraph track, explore the surreal landscape of Bilbanya Dunes, and finish off the episode at a campsite on top of the world. Paid campground, first come, first serve. Don't look at just me, I'm ugly.